What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Brian Noonan here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over if you're out there starting Amazon FBA or you want to get started selling on Amazon, but you have a lower budget. This video is going to be perfect for those of you out there who maybe don't have $3,000, $4,000, or $5,000 to jump right into Amazon FBA private label. I'm going to lay out in today's video some other ways that you could potentially sell on Amazon and uh, get started. Um, so you learn the process of what it takes to sell on Amazon. One of the best ways is Amazon Handmade. So I want to go over in today's video what Amazon Handmade is. This video is going to be perfect for any of you out there who maybe have a skill or a hobby you do on the side, like jewelry making, or maybe you make home decor items, or maybe you're a soap maker. You know, having a little side hobby or a side craft or skill, you can actually, you know, monetize that and sell those services and those products on Amazon. And so this video is going to be perfect for those of you out there who maybe want to make something with your hands and be able to sell it on Amazon. How would you go about setting that up? I will cover that in today's video. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Brian Noonan. I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller and mentor. Right here on this channel, I release one to two new videos every single week covering everything Amazon FBA related. I also do one-on-one -on -one mentorship call giveaways to be able to enter and be able to win one of those. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and leave me a comment down below if you're feeling extra generous. I pick two lucky winners every video to give 30 minute one-on-one -on -one mentorship call giveaways. Uh, without any other delays, let's jump into my computer and go over how to start Amazon with a low budget. Coming up. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've been trying to... What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, if you've never heard about Amazon Handmade, Amazon Handmade is Amazon wanting to support local artisans, local artists, local craftspeople who make things with their hands and uh, maybe have a little small business and they want to sell on Amazon, but don't want to do private label or uh, import products from China. So on my second product, I'll bring up some pictures here. On my second product, I found these um, wall sconces that were selling really well on Amazon. This product was selling really well on Amazon. They're mason jar wall sconces. But on my second product, I didn't have the $4,600 it took to order this product from a supplier in China. They just had a ridiculous high MOQ. I didn't have the money to order this product. The supplier wanted me to order, I believe it was four or 500 sets. And they were pretty expensive, like 13 to $16 per set. And I didn't have like $4,600 for my second product to go into this product. So I thought, I know this niche is good. I know this product is good. It's an up and coming niche. All the numbers checked out. It wasn't too competitive at the time going back, you know, a year and a half ago. How could I still sell this product? So what I actually did was I ordered some of my main competitors products off Amazon, got them to my house, and then I reverse engineered what, what came with the set. It was two wooden boards with these, um, twine. It was two mason jars with twine tied around. It was these black hooks that um, the mason jar hung on. And then it was these fairy string LED copper wire lights. And it was these two hydrangea flowers. And so here's what I did. I didn't have the $4,600 to invest into this second product. I couldn't find a supplier who was willing to come down to 200 or 250 sets for my first order. So what did I do? I made the product by hand and I was eligible to then sell on Amazon Handmade. So I went ahead and bought all the supplies I needed, the wood, the hooks, the flowers, the LED lights. I bought some of it off Alibaba. I bought some of it at the local hardware store and I actually handmade all these wooden boards. I did a hundred sets. So that's 200 boards, handmade them. I learned how to cut them. Um, and all of that. And so if you're out there and maybe you know how to make soaps or you know how to ma make jewelry, this is a great place to sell your products is on Amazon using Amazon Handmade. You know, earrings, home garden ideas, a little bit of clothing items, home decor, kitchen and dining, grooming products, whatever it is that you're interested in or maybe you have a hobby or a skill, woodworking, whatever it is, pick something that interests you or that you already know what to do and how to do it and go ahead and sell on Amazon Handmade. There's two different ways you could go about doing this. Um, you will need an Amazon seller account, so you will need to sign up for an Amazon selling account. Uh, there's either the professional plan, which is what I recommend, 
it's $39.99, and then there's the individual plan, which is free, but you're going to pay a dollar every time you sell one unit, so it's really just worth it to uh, pay the $39.99 a month, okay? And you'll need a seller account, and then what you can do is two different things. You can either just sell your products from your house, set it as FBM, Fulfillment by Merchant. Make sure to check out this video right up here on how to fulfill orders via FBM. I'll link it up there, but that will walk you through the process of shipping orders to your customers. So if you wanna just ship the product, see how it goes, you can list the product on Amazon Handmade, and as orders come in, if you're set to Merchant Fulfilled, you would be responsible for fulfilling those orders. So buying the shipping, uh, putting the box dimensions of your product, slapping the shipping label on it, and sending it to your customers. It doesn't require any UPC barcode or any of that. It would just be through your seller account, buy shipping, print the shipping label, the UPS or the FedEx shipping label, and ship it off to your customer, drop it off at the post office. That's one way you could go about starting um, to sell on Amazon using Amazon Handmade. The other option is, let's say you have 100 units of an earrings that you handmade, you could send in 50 units or even all 100 units to an Amazon fulfillment warehouse and let Amazon handle the storing, the packaging, the shipping, and the returns of your product. You will pay FBA fees depending on the size and weight of your final product's box packaging, but you can do a rough calculation or send me a message. I'd be happy to estimate to Amazon. If you're doing FBA, letting Amazon store and ship your products, you're going to pay an FBA fee, a pick and pack fee, and the 15% referral fee. But on top, if you're doing FBM, Merchant Fulfilled, on top of the FBM fee, you will have uh, the 15% referral fee, you will have that shipping cost. And it just really depends on your product, which carrier you go with, and the weight of your product. So sometimes, you know, shipping through FBM can be as cheap as, you know, two or three dollars a unit. It can be as expensive as 10 or 15 dollars per unit, depending on how large and heavy your product is. So you can see here, guys, that all of these products under this handmade section, these are all um, artisans, small business owners, and craftsmen who are hand making these products or have a very niche product that they're making candles, they're making soaps, all of this type of stuff, they're selling through Amazon Handmade. And one huge benefit of starting Amazon Handmade is you're not having to pay your supplier or pay for shipping to the Amazon warehouse. The only money that will be required for you to get started selling through Amazon Handmade is your time that it takes you to physically make the products and the uh, material costs. Let's say you're making candles. Um, it would just be the cost of the jars and the soy wax, whatever your costs are just for the product to get it going. And you can start with just 50 units or 100 units and uh, sell through FBM. And then you would just pay 15% to Amazon every time you sell one unit. One other thing is when you set up your Amazon handmade listing, you can go in here inside your Seller Central account. You will want to take some high quality photos. I recommend um, whether you're doing FBM or FBA or selling on Amazon handmade or selling on Amazon FBA private label. Pictures are one of the most important parts for customers to buy your product. And so you wanna spend some good money, uh, get somebody with a nice camera who, who's uh, experienced with photography and have professional product photos or images done. You will need seven to nine images, and the first image is always supposed to be just on a pure white background of just your product. And then you're gonna have like seven or so more images highlighting your product, what are the main features, any text or graphic overlays, you know, pointing out the benefits and what makes your product unique. And then the last couple of images should be lifestyle images. Show the product being used with a model or in the environment that the product will be used in. Also, when you're out there doing um, product research maybe, or you're looking, what type of product should I even sell for Amazon Handmade? You can go up here on the top left and actually go to Handmade. It is right here, and then you could just type in something like dash and then some letters, and it'll bring up products that are related to those letters under Amazon Handmade. And then I believe that the Helium 10 extension will usually work as long as you're on Amazon and you have a product pulled up. The Helium 10 X-Ray 
product research extension will work so you can see which products are making the most money and which products would be worth um, making or going into. One thing that I will suggest is this is Amazon the company wanting to promote small businesses, craftsmen, artisans. And so if you do uh, go into Amazon Handmade or sell through Amazon Handmade, I recommend that you are hand making the product or you're sourcing from a supplier who's very, very uh, attentive to the details. It needs to look like a handmade product, like a very custom niche oriented product. I don't recommend just using any FBA private label product or any product like headphones, you know, um, shower curtains, pillows. Pillows could be okay, but it needs to have an, a handmade feel to it. So um, I pulled up this product in Amazon Handmade with Love by Fatima. You can see this product sells for $26.95. It's just a little frame that you put around your peephole. It's making, I believe, $25,000 per month, really $21,000 per month. And let's say your uh, margins are 30%, 40%. You know, this seller from this one product is um, is making like nine or $10,000 per month. So you can really make some really good money uh, through Amazon Handmade. Hope you guys are enjoying today's video. If you could, please go down and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I see a lot of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. I love seeing new subscribers come in and I can see each and every one of you who take a minute to just subscribe and I appreciate all of you who do so. Okay, one other way to get started selling on Amazon that requires little upfront investment or a little bit of money to get started is online or retail arbitrage. What online or retail arbitrage is is finding products that are already selling well on Amazon. Usually it'll be kind of bigger name brands uh, products. You find products that are already selling well on Amazon. You go on discount websites like jet.com, overstock.com, and you find uh, discount websites that are selling, let's say this unicorn sprinkler. Well on Amazon, you use a software like Tactical Arbitrage. Tactical Arbitrage will show you um, products that are selling on Amazon how much it would cost for you to source that product from the discount website. And then let's say this unicorn sprinkler costs you $3 on jet.com. You would buy like five or 10 of them, get them shipped to your house. You would list them on this seller's listing. And let's say they sell for $38.99. You would pay Amazon the FBA fee or the referral fee or both, depending on your fulfillment method. And then you would keep the difference, uh, the profit in between. One tip though is, uh, if you are doing online or retail arbitrage, please don't hijack or try to drop ship on a, another private label uh, product. Tactical arbitrage will actually help you find these products that are not you know, hijacking or, or trying to sell on top of a, a small business or a small private label seller. Usually the products you'll find using tactical arbitrage will be like Nike or Toy Story um, or Track Phone or Aiden and Aiden, kind of some bigger well-known brands where you can buy just a few units at a time from these discount websites or discount stores like Goodwill, Walmart, Sam's Club. You'll buy five units here, 10 units there, get them shipped to your house or get them to your house list the product for sale on Amazon on someone else's listing, do a shipping plan, label the products with your barcode, the F and SKU, create a shipping plan, package the products in a box, and ship them into Amazon, and then you just set your selling price a little bit lower than all the other sellers on the listing so you get the sale or you win the buy box. This is a great way to get started selling on Amazon. Actually, how I got started selling on Amazon was online retail arbitrage. I used tactical arbitrage to find the products at a discount. I ordered a few units here, a few units there, you know, 50 to 150 bucks at a time. And then I made some really good profits because it shows you exactly how much profit you're going to make. It shows you the sales rank to make sure the product will sell once you ship it into Amazon, all of the above. So that's just a little brief explanation of what online or retail arbitrage is. This is one of the best ways to start, guys, if you are starting out on a limited budget and you're willing to kind of hand make some items. Amazon Handmade is, is great. Online retail arbitrage only requires a few hundred dollars to get started. And then the last one and, and what should be your ultimate goal, guys, is Amazon FBA Private Label. With Amazon FBA Private Label, you're finding products like this Unicorn Sprinkler that's already selling well. I can pull up the Helium 10 extension. 
can see this product is just selling like crazy you know 22 reviews doing forty-three thousand dollars a month 12 reviews doing twenty-five thousand dollars a month two reviews doing six thousand three hundred dollars a month obviously this is a little bit of a seasonal product or it is a seasonal product so you would only be able to sell this product in the summer but basically you would find a product like this one that's not seasonal that will sell year-round verify the numbers using x-ray or product research software to find the products then you would reach out to suppliers on Alibaba have them put your own brand name you come up with on the product ship like 500 of these or 250 to start with to the Amazon fulfillment center and then you would start to sell and you own this listing now you've created a brand and uh, your inventory goes right to Amazon warehouse and you don't even have to deal with storing the inventory or shipping it to the customer we're handling and letting Amazon do all of that so FBA private label should be your ultimate goal number one it doesn't require much of your time once you get the product launched number two you don't have to store or ship any of the products and number three it's really the most profitable and the most scalable especially when you get a couple really good products making you a few thousand dollars or even ten thousand dollars a month or more what you can do is start out by doing Amazon handmade because again it's very low overhead very low cost to get started um, you, you would just have to pay for the supplies or the materials uh, to get started and with your time but what you can do is launch a product or two in Amazon handmade right now we have all this time because of quarantine going on we have extra time on our hands and then what you can do is prove the product sells well and that there's good demand and then what you can do is be reaching out to suppliers over in China and start getting quotes or samples to see or send them a sample of your handmade product and try to find a supplier over in China you can use Alibaba and find a supplier who can replicate your handmade item because then you can scale the product instead of selling you know 50 to 500 units a month if it's really selling well and you want to not spend so much time physically having to manufacture the product store the product ship the product then you can find the supplier and have the supplier manufacture the product is cheaper than what you're paying for the materials and the box packaging and the shipping costs it'll be cheaper to actually find a supplier who can uh, manufacture thousands of those uh, per month send them directly to the Amazon warehouse and then you take time out of the equation where you can spend time on growing your Amazon business versus a lot of time in your business working physically manufacturing the products packaging them shipping the products all of that you're welcome to leave me questions down below in the comments or reach out to me on Facebook Messenger I would be more than happy to help you uh, get started with selling products that you want to hand make or find a supplier who uh, is very niche oriented and has a very very specific product that they hand make thanks so much for watching today's video I've been wanting to create an Amazon handmade video for a while now I hope you got lots of value out of uh, what it takes to start selling an Amazon handmade make sure you give me a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed I will announce the winners of today's call giveaway winners on the next video I'll see you there What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've been trying what's going on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel.